The Bahamas is made up of over 700 islands and 2,000 keys, covering more than 100,000 square miles. The illustrious history of the Bahamas includes tales of explorers, pirates, privateers, and rum runners. Although Christopher Columbus landed on San Salvador Island, it's the more southern island of New Providence that's home to the historic core of the Bahamas, Nassau. Nassau grew to be a central Caribbean port due to its prized safe harbor, allowing it to preserve many of its British colonial-style buildings, architecture, and forts. Built in the 18th century by the British to defend the island, Fort Charlotte is one of three forts in the Nassau area. Though these cannons were never fired in anger, once the forts were built, the island was never attacked again. For a lunch break, I was told by the locals to head to Mackenzie's in Potter's Key to get the freshest seafood in town. Conk, a staple in Bahamian dishes, is brought in daily. And I was recommended to try the conch salad, made right in front of me. After lunch, I continued on my Nassau journey. Nassau has many restored 18th century buildings, but one of my favorites is the home of the National Arts Gallery of the Bahamas. The house is impeccably restored, and the gallery celebrates historical and contemporary Bahamian art. at Queen's Staircase in beautiful Nassau, Bahamas. This staircase, though today, is used for hundreds of tourists to come and visit. Originally, it was built as an escape route for soldiers who were in a nearby fort. What is so absolutely amazing about this staircase and the adjoining passageway is that each and every bit of it was carved out by hand. After a long day of sightseeing, the best way to end the day is with a walk on the beach. <laughs>